Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Simple Construction, which is being made by forum user Matter Beam. and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is simple rocket building capabilities to your stock parts in the game. And how it wants to do this is by taking the Extra Planetary Launchpad mod and stripping away all of its unnecessary bulk and clutter and adding its functionality onto parts that already exist in the game, which is quite cool. I actually really like this mod. Uh, now, Extra Planetary Launchpads is quite possibly one of my favorite mods ever made for this game because I love the idea of building ships off-world away from the Kerbal Space Center. But a big problem that a lot of people have said about it, and myself included, is that it is kind of a bulky mod that does put a bit more strain on the game than it probably needs to because there's just so many new parts and new functionalities and new supply chains and it is just a bit overwhelming for some users. And so, well, Simple Construction looks to take it and simplify it down into just four parts that already exist in the stock Kerbal Space Program base game. And that's pretty wonderful. It really takes a big load off of the system uh, because you're using parts that you already will probably have on your colonies out amongst the stars. So let's jump into the VAB and have a look at what parts do get changed with this, which is going to be kind of odd today. I'm used to showing off new parts, but instead we're just looking at stock parts and explaining uh, what's different about them now. So, the first part, uh, well, we're just going to grab a cupola here for attaching things to, and the first part that gets edited for the uh, adding in of extra planetary launch pad functionality is this large holding tank here. Now, typically, this thing only holds raw ore that you dig up with your drills. But now, thanks to uh, interstellar fuel switch, you can change the tank from ore to metal to rocket parts, which I probably should give you guys a quick reminder about how extraplanetary launch pad works. Basically, you mine ore from the planets or the comets or what have you, or asteroids rather, that you land on. You then take that ore and process it into metal, and then you process the raw metal into rocket parts. And then the rocket parts is what you use to actually build your new ships. It works all quite well, but in the Extra Planetary Launch Pads mod, that requires the creation of multiple new storage containers and multiple different workshop modules, etc. to do all this, where we can do it in far fewer parts, just adding it to stock parts. And, well, that's, that's pretty nice. So the next part that we actually have in the supply chain here is down in Utility, and it's the Convertotron. So this wonderful thing normally is used for converting ore into a liquid fuel oxidizer, etc., and that's its use, but now it can also refine the ore into metal. So now you'll dig up the ore, it'll go into one of these tanks, then it'll be processed into metal, and then into another one of these tanks, purely for metal storage, and then after that, we go down to the science tab and add in a mobile processing lab, which typically is just for science, but now it can be used to print your rocket parts, which can then be stored in, once again, another one of these containers that's just been switched up to rocket parts. And then finally, you build your new ship with this construction port, which is basically just a renamed Clampotron Jr. docking port. And what this does is, whichever direction this port is facing, it will build the ship roughly about 10 meters in that direction. So with it facing here, it would build the ship right around here or so. And yeah, that's, that's how it all works. Uh, it's very, very simple. Again, only four stock parts that needed to be edited to add in this extra planetary launch pads functionality into the base game. And I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. So let's actually take a look at a functioning little constructor platform that I built here uh, to show off the process in full. And again, the best part about this, in my mind, is because it's all stock parts, you're probably going to have 
all of these things already on whatever bases you've built out on the moon or Duna? Because, I mean, come on, who doesn't have a mobile processing lab, some ore containers, and one of these converters sitting around? And now you can use them in conjunction with one of the little uh, docking port juniors turned into a constructor port, and you can now build things. And that's just freaking cool. So let's, oh god, I should probably make sure, yep, we need to fill it with people and then go out to the launch pad where we'll do a little bit of mining. <laughs> oh god, not a whole lot of ore here. Now you'll notice we just did get the extra planetary launch pad UI because again, this is just taking the extra planetary launch pad mod and bolting its functionality onto stock parts, but it's still using it as the base for its actual construction. But let's close this for now because we don't quite need it yet and we'll pin the resources so of course we need to get the drilling going so let's release all of those and go my drills go bore yourself into the earth and I forgot to add start service har surface harvest into an action group so let's just do this I probably don't need all four going but I kind of like the idea of all four of these going well, there we go excellent and the ore is filling up quite nicely in here and now in this Convertotron, you'll notice we now have, besides all of the different fuels that we can convert, we also have start metal refining right here. So let's turn that on, and that should start putting metal into here. Now it's gonna be doing it at a quick rate, or a slow rate rather, but you can see its tonnage is changing very slowly but surely up here, but I already put some metal in to show it off. But yes, it was at about 590, it's now at 592, but slowly but surely it is increasing, so that is functioning. And of course you can see the tonnage here, so that is, uh, that's working as intended. I'm kind of hoping for it to change over to 593 so you guys can see that for sure, but oh well, I'll just have to, you'll have to believe the tonnage. And then finally, I do have 921 rocket parts already built in this container, uh, but if we click on one of our mobile processing units, you'll see this new option just under start research. We now have start printing rocket parts, and once we do that, click. You can see it's got a 6.8% load at the moment, and it will slowly but surely start to make rocket parts. Now there you go, again you can see the tonnage going up, and it's now to 922. And yeah, these will just go up and up and up until they fill everything they need. Haha, it's gone up to 593 now. <laughs> So yes, if you're on a better ore vein area than the efficiency of where we currently are sitting, uh, you could get this going a bit more quickly. But for now, oh boy, I just noticed the electrical charge. Let's pull up all of our drills. <laughs> oh, I am using a lot of electricity, running four drills, a mobile processing lab, and a convertitron. But yes, that should be enough of that. We should have plenty of rocket parts to actually build something now. Now, typically in the extra planetary launch pad mod, you'd have some big sort of docking port or the uh, launch platform that you can expand and build in places. But now again, we just have this little con uh, construction port. And to do it, you need to hit the show UI button here to bring back up the extra planetary launch pad UI and just do like you always do in this particular mod. You just hit select craft and go find whatever it is you wanna build. We can actually build one of these ion powered space probes pretty quick. There we go, we'll load that. I have no xenon gas, so we'll turn that off. And yeah, just hit build. Now it's gonna take a while, a while. So let's uh, accelerate time and almost. There we go, it is built. So now all we need to do is either tear down the build or of course, finalize it. And there we go, we have a little uh, probe built and currently hovering. <laughs> uh, like I said, it just kind of builds it about 10 meters away. Now, preferably what you'd want is to actually build whatever you have uh, with like, if you're on a planetary surface, build it with like one of the uh, stability enhancers or whatever in the crap they are, the little pylons, so that it doesn't just show up here in the air. Cause immediately once we release it, there we go, it's just gonna fall to the ground. Now, if it's a rover or something, meh, that's no problem. But for any rockets, yeah, you may wanna <laughs> tweak that a little bit. Or especially if you do have a rocket. Now remember, it sort of built it assuming the top 
was that direction and the bottom was over here. So if you say wanted to have a rocket going straight up and down, you'd actually want to build this port on top. And then definitely you'd want one of those stability enhancers then, uh, kind of uh, suspending it higher up in the air so the uh, exhaust from your launch doesn't break your station. Uh, but yes, overall, very, very fun. I love the idea of having the extra planetary launch pad stuff in the base game. I mean, this, this is something I've wished for a while, that we could build stuff in just using base stock parts. Now we have it using the functionality of extra planetary launch pads mixed with the sort of bolting on of its things onto stock parts via the simple construction mod. And again, for those of you who are worried about performance, it will definitely help you with that because, well, uh, there's less parts to deal with, there are, you know, just less overall things to worry about in your ships. You should just be good to go to fly, and it also helps with clutter. Again, these are parts you probably already have on most of your missions, and now, just by adding a little construction port, you can use them in a whole new way. And who wouldn't want that? But yeah, that is going to be it for this particular mod. If you would like to check it out for yourself, you can have a look at the link in the description, as always. And I definitely would say to go and check it out. It is pretty awesome. And of course, I do hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you do come back for the next. But until then, uh, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.